Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this Destiny 2 video. I'm your host Dichronic and be talking about the new PvP game mode called Survival. It's going to be on the new Altar of Flame map which is specifically designed for this game mode of course and it's going to be the first footage that we found from IGN. Of course go check them out in the description down below. They have seven minutes of game footage. They have another video where they talk about the different things on the map and the different doodads from the developers and all that stuff. So make sure you go check them out. Of course this is their footage and all that stuff. So firstly, the map. The Altar of Flame is basically kind of a lighthouse map from Destiny 1, where this map is very themed with candles, has drapery, vex uh, different things, it's Mercury in the background. This is basically the lighthouse map, but turned into PvP form from Destiny 1. This map is designed in such a way that everyone's going to want to fight over the middle section because of the fact that Power Ammo spawns in the middle, and once I describe the game mode, it's going to be a lot more evident why this is so important. So the best way I have to describe this game mode, it is basically like the team deathmatch mode from Gears of War 3 where each team starts off with a certain number of lives, where in this game mode it is 8 lives each, and once you run out, out of those lives you can no longer respawn and it keeps going until all members of one team are dead. It seems that there is a maximum of 3 rounds total, so you have to win the best of 3 rounds, and each round has a time limit of 3 minutes, so the maximum amount of time you can spend on this is gonna be 9 minutes. So overall, this seems more like one of those kind of, uh, we throw this in kind of like a team deathmatch mode. This doesn't seem like a competitive game type unless you up the amount of uh, rounds on this, and it seems like one of those things that go in the rotation with control and all those other game modes. Now the thing I mentioned earlier about the power ammo being in the middle, the fact that it is a round based timer and it has the uh, certain number of respawns, you guys want to hit up that heavy ammo immediately and try to get that heavy ammo to try to kill off the enemy members of the team. If you do get that heavy ammo, you're probably going to get a, quite a few kills on the enemy team with that heavy ammo and turn the tides of battle in your favor. So again, fighting over that middle heavy ammo or that power ammo as they call it is very, very important. And at the end of the round, there also is a capture point. So it's kind of very search and destroy style or I guess uh, Trials of Osiris style where if you start to run out of lives and you're just hiding and camping, you have to go for that point to win the round. Personally, I could definitely see this being one of those very, very competitive game modes where it's very, very clutch mode where a lot of people have died on your own team. You're like the last three people left on your team. There's no response left and you end up clutching like several kills in a row, working as a team, helping each other out. And I could definitely see this being a very, very epic thing to see lots of really cool videos on the internet about. Overall, I'd like to say this is a great addition to the game. It's a very kind of competitive, very flushed out. It's not like a slow game mode like Team Deathmatch. You have to be in it to win it because of the timer in the top. It's very similar to Trials of Osiris that we already have a love for in this game. And I could definitely see this being one of the favorite game modes in the game because Control, let's just, I just gotta say it, we played a lot of Control and I think we're ready for the next game mode. Overall, they also have a lot of polish to this mode. There's a lot of different little mini details like Shax calling out how many lives the enemy has and when they're about to die. He always says like, they have no more lives, crush them! You know, very Shax-like. And I love how they're putting Shax more into these audio lines. He, I know he had audio lines in the previous one, but it definitely feels like he's watching in this game where he's saying like, hey dude, that was so cool, you need to get that power armor and crush them. And I definitely think that's a very, very nice touch among a lot of other things. Anyways, that's the video for you guys today. Hope you guys did enjoy. Again, check out the 7 minutes of game footage from IGN down in the description down below of the full gameplay of this map as well as this game mode. It is a lot of fun to watch. It's really cool to see a lot of the cool weapons. You actually got to see a couple of uh, new exotics, so go check that out and look at what they got going on over there. Anyways, again, I've been your host, Dichronic, and I'll see you guys on the next one.